all right ladies and gentlemen so this video is all about illustrating about natural planetary friends and enemies of a planet okay so you can able to see the screen right so where in which i have displayed the planets in different columns planets friends enemies and neutrals right so the table is very much self explanatory all right so for sun the friends are moon mars jupiter and ketu okay and whereas enemies are saturn venus rahu neutrals are mercury all right so if at all mercury is placed in leo okay so then mercury becomes a neutral planet for you because leo for leo the lord is basically sun that is how we'll be calculating the friends and enemies in your chart all right so for the planet moon the friends are sun mercury and moon doesn't have any kind of enemies and neutrals are except sun and mercury all other planets are neutrals okay so let's say in cancer sun is placed in your chart then sun becomes a positive planet for you because sun is friendly with cancer's lord moon okay that is how you should be calculating even mercury is friend for moon all right and uh, let's take the planet mars the firing mars the fiery planet mars okay <laughs> and the friends for mars is basically sun moon and jupiter okay if jupiter is placed in scorpio or jupiter is placed in aries jupiter becomes a friendly planet because for aries and scorpio zodiac sign the lord is mars okay you have to calculate that when similar way for mars the enemies are mercury ketu and rahu and the neutrals are venus and saturn okay Mer venus and saturn are in neutrals similar way for mercury the friends are sun and venus venus is the very best friend for mercury if at all venus is placed in virgo or in gemini then venus works super well for your chart okay and sun becomes friend for uh, mercury in fact if sun and mercury conjunct together in your chart it forms a great yoga called as buddha aditya yoga which is very great yoga in fact i would have spoke in the yoga section in fact i i'll be making a video on that you have to you have to wait for that and for enemies for mercury is basically moon and ketu moon and ketu becomes dead enemies for mercury and you need to understand here for moon mercury becomes friend but for mercury moon becomes enemy you have to remember that okay as per sage parashara hora shastra moon becomes enemy for mercury and ketu is also enemy for mercury whereas mars jupiter saturn and rahu are neutrals to mercury okay and for jupiter for jupiter friends are moon mars sun and ketu moon becomes the greater friendly for jupiter if at all moon is placed in sagittarius or pisces you will be mentally you will be high in men mental stability you you are super mentally strong in nature okay similar way sun is as well works so well in sagittarius and pisces for sagittarius and pisces the planet the lord is basically jupiter and whereas enemies are mercury and rahu okay and neutrals are basically saturn saturn becomes the neutral planet for jupiter for venus the best and best of friend which i have spoke to is basically mercury and saturn also becomes friendly for venus all right and whereas enemies are sun moon rahu and ketu okay and whereas neutrals are basically mars and jupiter mars becomes a super dead enemy for venus okay and jupiter is also yeah yeah sorry mars is neutral for venus and whereas jupiter is basically um uh, neutral for venus ketu becomes a strong enemy for venus because when ketu and venus stays together in your chart that results to a lot of relationship breaks and all that because venus meant for relationships and ketu meant for breaks breakups separation okay and let's go with saturn for saturn mercury venus and rahu are best 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 friends okay venus is also very best friend for saturn and saturn goes well with mercury and rahu as well for so, and sun moon mars and ketu becomes the enemies for saturn okay and jupiter becomes the neutral planet similar way for jupiter saturn becomes the neutral and for saturn jupiter becomes the neutral okay so that's all about 
friendship table friendship and enemy table so depending upon your chart depending upon the planetary placement in your birth chart this friends and enemies varies and there are certain exceptions as well depending upon which ascendant you are depending upon which lagna you are the things will changes so for that i have to analyze your birth chart completely i have to provide complete prediction on your birth chart by seeing your birth chart so for that you got to book a consultation with me the link is mentioned in the description so that you can book for the consultation and i am here to provide you the service in terms of providing you complete astrology report for you in terms of identifying the friendly enemies and neutrals and also explaining the analysis behind those planetary positions in your birth chart so please book for the consultation the link is mentioned in the description section and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because i have plan of making loads and loads of videos in astrology to teach you astrology to make this knowledge to be aware for all the people around there all right so thank you so much and please don't forget to comment under the video hit a like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and we'll meet up in another video have a nice day bye for now